So a few weeks ago, I saw something online um, about a senior banker in Africa who left um, the bank job to work as a cleaner in the UK. Then something came to mind. I have a very close friend, a very close that I know personally. We go, we became friends here in the UK. Who worked as a banker in Nigeria, not a senior banker, but you know, like a regular banker, but also works as a cleaner. He moved into the UK. Moved into the UK, yes. Just got into the UK. I think some two, three months ago, and uh, presently works as a cleaner. So he's camera shy, so you know he can't come on here to share his experience. You know, so today we are going to be doing some analysis out as, as to how much he was earning in Nigeria, how much he earns presently. You know, and you know, just some general advice so what we can say about the matter. So if this is what you like to hear, please stick with us till the end of the video. Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is the Fab Family. My name is Oluwa Femi and here is my beautiful wife. My name is Abigail. We don't want me to talk, but I will talk. Welcome back to our channel. Thank you for always coming back. Yeah. Our old subscribers, thank you for always watching. Yeah. If you are new here and you like the content we are giving out, please kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel and please turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime we post a new video. So thank let's so jump right that. into our discussion for today. Let's dive right into it. No long story. So I think I should first say that while working in Nigeria, you know I can't mention the name of the bank, he earned 150k Nigerian Naira, 150,000. And for some of us in Nigeria, you know that's pretty decent. You know, decent. Leave the Lagos, I think I should mention. Leave the Lagos and 150k as a banker. Now here Don't in the UK, to mention he's married. He's married, yes, he's married. No he's child. here with they his no child, child. yes. So he's here with his wife. So here in the UK he works as a cleaner. And he was nice enough to you know, show me some of his pay slips, how much he earns, how much he spends. So that's what I want to be analyzing. So he earns ten pound fifty per hour as a cleaner where he works. Ten pound fifty. He works, I think, um, about sixty hours in a week. He works sixty hours in a week on ten pound fifty. So where's your phone? I think I should use your phone. No, for. Let me mention 40 hours, 40 regular hours, then it does over time, you know, here and there. So, so let's just use 40 hours, that's the standard hours. It was. I think the least he has done is 60 hours from his experience here with over time. The least he has done in a week is 60 hours. For some people that work regular 40 hours, some of them usually have a second job, you know, to still make extra income. But he didn't need to get a second job because there's always room for overtime. So he does six. So let's do 60, 10.50 times 60. That is £630. Pounds. £630 pounds a week. Uh, in a month, some months we have five weeks, some months we have four, four weeks. But for the sake of this explanation, we use four weeks. Now we are going to deduct the NI. NI, yes. That's the... Because he just recently moved to the UK, um, he's not getting taxed yet. I think you there's an amount you earn before you start getting taxed. And that should take about five to six months. You know, so we are not calculating tax with this, just NI, national insurance. NI is about 50, 60 pounds per, month, per week. Yeah, per week. On your pay. On your yes. So let's use 50 pounds for the sake of explanation. So the total, that's 630 minus 50, that's 580. Yes, so 580 pounds per week after national insurance. Yeah. No other deduction, no pension, nothing, at least for now. So times four weeks in a month. To know how much he has in a month. So in a month, he has two thousand three hundred and twenty. Lord of Jesus, two thousand three hundred and twenty pounds in a month, as compared to one hundred and fifty thousand naira in Nigeria. In Nigeria. Now you can convert that. <laughs> Let, let's convert that. I will not tell you the amount. Let me just convert. I mean, you know what the exchange rate is saying right now. So if you convert two thousand three twenty. To your country's you currency. Are to shout blood of Jesus. Ah, blood of Jesus. <laughs> so, depending on the country you are watching this from, you know, you convert <laughs> and you know how much that is in your currency. So, yes. if you compare how much he earns in Nigeria and how much he earns here in the UK, the first thing that in comes to your month. mind in a month, the first thing that comes to your mind is not even what he does to make that money. Yeah. It's just the amount of money. Now, let's go further so we won't waste time. He pays 600 
for his accommodation. Okay, that's bills inclusive. Bills inclusive. Let's even say this two thousand three twenty minus minus six hundred. I think that's one thousand seven twenty. One thousand seven twenty. That's his monthly profit. I Income. Income. Yeah. yeah. After um ni after housing, then yeah, because my friend eats a lot, eat I know he, we've been on break together, so he eats a lot. He spends about one fifty to two hundred pounds in a month for feeding. Yeah, and his family. And his yeah, and his wife. Basic feeding. So that's roughly one five. Yes. Less. That's how much. One five. Oh, I'm sorry. Twenty minus. Use two hundred. He eats a lot, so let's just use 200. 1,520 pounds. Which other expenses do we have? Since the house rents. If you yes, pay your house rents, uh, we are good. Maybe phone bills, another man, transportation. Yeah. But without considering that, we have 1,520 in a month. Every other thing should be minor. Now, I don't even know where to, I don't, I don't even know where to no, continue. The thing is, it is not this. Um, I know in Nigeria we there are some jobs that we call them, them dirty jobs. Yeah, dirty jobs. Know. Yeah, it's not like that. <laughs> You're on the same level with the person. In fact, some people work as cleaners, some people work, work as kitchen assistants and they earn the same amount as yes. those in the office. Yes. Some earn more. And so I know some of my guys that have worked in offices, in the office house. administration and all these things, I earn more than them. So the difference might not be so much, but you know. Yeah. So it's not about what you are doing here. Yeah. I don't know how to explain, but I know in Nigeria we look down on some people that she's a cleaner. Yeah. She's a clinical, 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 clinical. But yeah, you work for your when you go wherever you work, you get your money. They don't look down on anybody. Nobody's looking down on you. Nobody's um Give me the word. I, I, I don't have a word for you at this time. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't have a word for it. But I think I should say, if I take a picture or a video of the car park where I work, my warehouse, you won't believe this is a warehouse. If you look at the cars, you won't believe this is a warehouse. The system is designed to make you live comfortable. To So far, you earn above minimum wage. Mm. And you even if you earn minimum. Even, the last even if you earn, that is the point I'm making. Job, yeah, you'll be paid minimum, minimum wage. Nobody so, you see, you. on minimum, minimum wage should be, I think, now nine pound fifty uh -huh. or nine pound seventy, it should be around nine pound fifty. Yes. I think if you earn minimum wage, you live a comfort, okay life. You live a good life. If you don't live above your means, you live a good life. So, when I read the comments on the story of a senior banker that senior banker that left, mm -hmm. you know, Africa to come to the UK to work as a cleaner, I'm like, the most of the comments were so negative and it really pissed me off maybe because now i'm exposed to both sides you know and i understand more now for africans that are coming into the uk i don't think anyone is coming into the uk with the goal that i'm going to the uk to be a cleaner <laughs> i don't think i've seen anyone like that so the goal is not for you to work in the warehouse. The goal is not for you to be a cleaner or for you to do job that you consider dirty jobs or no yes. jobs. But it is a starting point. Now, what I'm trying to explain is that even at that starting point, you can even live a better yes. life yes. than some of these people yes. from um, our own countries. Mm. You can live comfortably. So why the negativity? And I think from personal experience or from what I've seen online personally, see, most of these people that are negative, are people that are not going anywhere. I'm saying it with all sense of humility and respect. You know, because we are here, it doesn't mean we are looking down on anybody. Maybe because you're in your own country, we are looking down. You know, but I, I just know from my own personal experience, most of the people that are always negative. Hey, what are they going to do in the UK? What are they going to? You not go there to be a cleaner. They, you know, negative vibes. A lot of them are not going anywhere. And I'm not saying you have to leave your home country to come here yes, to the UK. Or, or, I'm not saying that. It's your decision. It's your decision. So it's whatever decision whatever. you are making, don't let anybody be negative life. about your life. It is your life. It is your project. It is your decision. If you want to come here, come here. Everything will work out fine for you. Maybe not immediately. You know, there's always a rough beginning. Not always. Yes, not always. I know someone who came from Nigeria, Africa, who came here and got a bank job immediately. Immediately. Yes, I know the person personally. So not everybody has to be a cleaner or has to do well or has to do care or something. You can come here and land your dream job immediately. 
For some people, it is not the same. But even those job, with those jobs we consider as dirty jobs, low jobs, you can still live a good life. That is the explanation I'm trying to make. Based on my, my warehouse experience that I posted, I still read some negative comments, and I want to you know. A, I said some a lot of negative comments and honestly I'm not even from moved. um local and foreign local and foreign <laughs> and the truth is that I'm not moved. If you know me personally, you know that things like this it doesn't move whether I want to positive or negative. It is my life, it is my family, we know what we are doing and we are following it through. Now my question to you is this do you think we came here to the UK, we left everything we're doing in Nigeria, my big boy status as a you know, professional photographer? <laughs> Cool. And my wife's big girl status as oh, yeah, yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, let's cover that area. We now came to the idea that my goal, my desire, my ambition is to work in the warehouse. <laughs> Praise God, somebody. Hallelujah. My goal is to go to the UK to work in the warehouse. Do you think that was our goal? No. But see, once you are determined, you are ambitious. You do anything possible to make your dreams come true. Yeah. This is not where we want to be. We thank God for where we are. We are grateful, you know, we are okay. But this is not where we want to be. So if you are here in the UK and you are maybe you are back in your home country, you are here in the UK, anywhere you are or any position you find yourself, any job you are doing, just be thankful to God. Do the best you can and make room for where you want to be. If there are courses you need to do with that. See, as we are now, we still get job offers because we don't stop applying. Yeah, we are not where we want to be. We we know where we are going, you know. So we still keep applying to jobs. We still do, you know, things to take us where we are going to. You are doing those odd jobs. You keep developing yourself. Exactly. Some of us are students. Definitely, you are. You have um, your goal. This is what you want to achieve with your certificates after your studies. If you are not a student. You can do courses online. Some of them are even yeah. free, yeah. or you just you can even pay for it. You know that last class you get this money back. Yeah. yeah. So people that are coming here now to do all jobs, I'm sure most of it is just starting. You don't it's need to. Point. You don't need to be negative with anybody. How can you be doing that? Kind of, is it your business? <laughs> Mind your business. So with that, we come to the end of today's um discussion. Please let us know what you think about this. Let us know where you stand. Do you support people? Not even support, I mean... Just your perspective, yeah. I think. Just what you think about working as a cleaner in the UK or doing all jobs in the UK, leaving your good jobs yeah. back home. So let us know what you think in I the know. comments yeah. section. Thank yeah. you for watching. We'll see you some other time. Bye-bye. It will be.